dear students this is newton's forward interpolation formula and newton's backward interpolation formula equations i am going to write and then we shall consider few examples on the application of this newton's forward interpolation formula as well as newton's backward interpolation formula as i told you that newton's forward interpolation formula is meant for the interpolation for which the value of x appears near the beginning of the table that to for equally divided values of x similarly newton's backward interpolation formula is meant for the interpolation of the value where it appears near to the end of the table with the condition that all the values of x are equally divided <coughs> newton's forward interpolation formula it is given uh, as y in terms of x the formula takes with the one one type of statement let y is equal to f of x takes the set of values x not y not x1 y1 and so on such that if x values are equally divided equally divided and if the interpolating and if interpolating value occurs near the beginning of the table then we have newtons forward interpolation formula newtons forward interpolation formula as y of x is equal to f of x that is equal to y not plus u into it is delta y not by 1 factorial plus u into u minus 1 it is delta 2 y not by 2 factorial plus u into u minus 1 u minus 2 it is delta 3 y not divided by 3 factorial and plus so on this is the equation you have according to the syllabus without derivation because this has got the derivation which is given in all the textbooks but according to syllabus derivation is not there only you have to apply this uh, equation uh, to the numerical values which are given in the form of set of tabulated values how this formula is going to be applied then v equal to fx where u equal to x minus x not and divided by h where u is equal to x minus x not divided by h such that x is unknown number unknown value and x not is the first value in x values and h equal to x1 minus x0 that means the difference between x1 minus x0 or x2 minus x0 or x3 sorry x2 minus x1 or x3 minus x2 
and so on. That means the difference is uniform. And this is called Newton's forward interpolation formula, where we apply this formula for the interpolating polynomial where it appears near the beginning of the table. Similarly, we define Newton's backward interpolation formula. Newton's backward interpolation formula. Then the same statement holds good. Let y is equal to f of x takes the set of values x naught y naught comma x1 y1 and so on such that if the value x values are equally divided and if the interpolated value occurs near the end of the table here instead of beginning near the end of the table then we have Newton's backward interpolation formula instead of forward Newton's backward Newton's backward interpolation formula has y is equal to f of x here instead of y naught you are having the last value but in that formula we have the first value but here we have last value that is u into here you must write a reverse delta and it is y n instead of y naught and here u into u plus 1 you have to write instead of u minus 1 and reverse delta you have to write that is delta 2 y naught means y n and u into u plus 1 u plus 2 this is delta 3 y n reverse delta 3 y n and where and plus so on this is called Newton's backward interpolation formula where u equal to x minus x naught by h instead x minus x n divided by h that minus sign will be same and u equal to x minus x n by h but there we have u equal to x minus x naught by h there such that x is unknown value x is the difference between any two successive values and x n here this x n the last value last value or the end value this is called Newton's backward interpolation formula so Newton's forward it is near the beginning of the table and Newton's backward interpolation formula takes the calculation where x value which is asking in the table asking in the given pro statement of the problem when it appears near to the end of the table then we write Newton's backward interpolation formula application to estimate the value unknown value from the given known set of values. So with on this two equations we will uh, study some uh, table of values how these equations are going to be going to satisfy the corresponding uh, calculations. Okay. So problems on Newton's forward and Newton's backward information formula. Problems on Newton's forward and backward interpolation Newton's forward and backward interpolation formulas with equally divided equally divided values of x equally divided values of x so i shall write uh, varieties of problems on this now the first problem is like this
example find the cubic polynomial find the cubic polynomial which takes the following values following values x and fx that is 0 1 2 3 1 2 1 it is 10 hence estimate hence estimate the value of hence estimate the value of your for 1.5 approximately Now, from the given data, first you have to observe three things. One is, first thing is, what type of values of x are given, whether they are equally spaced or unequally spaced. If they are equally spaced, then only you are allowed to apply these Newton's forward and backward interpolation formulas. When they are unequally spaced, these formulas are not applicable. Okay. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, this is a simple data I have given, but you can, you can, you have to expect beyond this uh, number of uh, pairs, you have first pair, second pair, third pair and fourth pair, only four sets of values are there, normally five to six values you are, you are going to expect minimum, so that you can uh, calculate the corresponding interpolating value. Then, uh, here, find the cubic polynomial. The problem needs the calculation, first of all the equation you have to write, that means whenever equation is given you can prepare the table like this, but when the table of values are given to write the equation these uh, forward and backward interpolation formulas will help us. Afterwards when once you write an equation any value you can calculate either intermediate value or outside the range. So, any value you can calculate when once uh, the uh, equation, the correct suitable equation is written in that sense. Okay. Then, uh, first of all, we will write uh, uh, which equation we are going to write for this because <coughs> the asking value is f of 1.5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 values are there. Here, f of 1.5. <coughs> So, f of 1.5 comes exactly at the center of the table that is between 1 and 2 that is 1.5 so that it is equally distant from the beginning of the table and equally distant from the end of the table. Here you can easily make out any one of these two formulas you can use either Newton's forward or Newton's backward uh, interpolation formula you can use any one of these two formulas you can use and then you can write that. Okay. Here f of 1.5 sorry x equal to 1.5 lies at the center of the table at the center of the table then we can use either we can use either Newton's forward or backward interpolation formula. Newton's forward or Newton's backward interpolation formula since x equal to 1.5 lies in between these two values. Let us use 
न्यूट्रल्स फॉरवर्ड फॉरवर्ड इंटरप्रेशन फॉरवर्ड एस वही इक्वल टू वही नॉट प्लस यू इनटू डेल्टा वही नॉट बाय वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस यू इनटू यू माइनस वन डेल्टा टू वही नॉट बाय टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस यू इनटू यू माइनस वन यू माइनस टू डेल्टा थ्री वही नॉट बाय इट इस थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस सोन Where u equal to x minus x naught divided by h. Actually, the table is given x and y equal to the form x. That is zero, one, <coughs> two, three. That is in place of zero, one. This is two. This is one, and it is ten. Okay, here, here, the difference table means forward difference table. You have to prepare the forward difference table. Newton's forward difference table. You have to prepare. Afterwards, identify the value of x and identify the value of x naught. Afterwards, the differences values you have to collect from the table and then you have to substitute. Forward difference table as x and y. That is how many pairs are there? One, two, three, four. Four pairs are there. I told you that uh, in the introduction. One number less. There are four are there. Then you are, you need to write only three pairs of observations. That is delta y. Next delta two y. And delta three y. So this number of uh, columns you have to prepare. X values zero, one, two, three, and Y values one, two, one, and ten. Now these values are supposed to be X naught, X one, X two, and X three. There are totally four values. This is Y naught, and Y one, and Y two. And corresponding values. That is y not y one and y two y three. So four values of x and four values of y. Now the difference. What is the first difference? That is delta y not. So delta y not means y one minus y not. This is y one minus y not. This is two minus one. This is one. You have to write. That means next value minus of previous value. Similarly, this is delta y not. Next delta y one. One minus of two. This is minus one. And delta y two. Ten minus one. This is equal to nine. Then delta two y not. This is nothing but that is delta two y not is equal to. This minus this value. That means minus one. It is plus one. Okay. Is equal to minus one, minus one and plus one. But minus one of minus one. This is minus of two. And next one is delta two. It is y one. Equal to nine minus of minus one. Okay. This is equal to plus ten. So this is minus two and this is plus ten. Then delta three it is y naught. 
This is one minus one and nine. Minus one minus one minus two. Nine minus of minus one is plus one. That becomes ten. Next delta three y naught is equal to that is ten minus of it is minus two. Then you have to write it is plus twelve. This is finally plus twelve. Okay. Then here don't substitute x equal to the asking number one point five. For writing the polynomial equation, what degree of polynomial equation you are getting means it should be third degree because third of order difference is there. If four sets of values are given, then it will give us third order uh, differences and third degree equation. So from that you have to find out the new value or the unknown value, whatever it is going to be asked. Then such that the new value we can calculate. Now, after this, you have to write like this. That is uh, 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 from the interpolation polynomial. Uh, u is equal to that means this value of u you have to calculate here. U equal to x minus x naught by h. So x naught is zero. X you put it as it is actually one point five. You have to substitute, but not now. Between zero and one, one unit. Between one and two, one unit. Between two and three, one. Two and three, one unit. Therefore, it is equally divided. X is equal to one. That is, u is equal to x. X minus zero, x by one equal to that is x only. Therefore, u is equal to x. Then y is equal to y naught plus. U into delta y naught minus one factorial plus U into U minus one. It is delta two y naught by two factorial plus U into U minus one into U minus two. It is delta three y naught by three factorial plus so on. U equal to x means you put that value. Y naught is first value, this one, and x naught is this value. One plus so. U U means x delta y naught means this is two minus one into one that is divided by one plus of U U equal to x that is next is x minus one delta two y naught that is equal to minus of two divided by it is two factorial plus of x into X minus one, x minus two, then delta three y naught. That is nothing but twelve divided by it is three factorial. That means you can write it as six. Now you can simplify. You will be getting a third degree equation that is called cubic polynomial. Okay, so cubic polynomial means because x into x minus one into x minus two, one plus x. And here, this two, this two gets cancelled. X into x, x square and minus one. So minus of x square and x into minus one and this minus. <coughs> it is plus six. And then here, twelve is there. Three twos are six. Three factorial means that is three factorial is equal to three into two into one. That is equal to six. Therefore, six. Uh, twelve divided by six means it is two times. Then you have to write this is x into x into x into x minus one into x minus two x into x square and minus one x minus two x minus of three x and plus two and multiplied by it is two. Afterwards. Now you have to simplify this. Y is equal to y of x. That's equal to y of x equal to one plus x minus x square plus x. And here multiply by two and x, which is two times x cube minus here x into two this one minus six times x square and plus so four times x is there. Then, uh, f of x is equal to 
So x cube I will write it as first term and x square there are two terms x square minus 7 x square and x is these two and this value 4 plus 1 plus 1 5 plus 6 x is there and constant is only plus 1. This is called y is equal to fx. This is called third degree polynomial. Third degree polynomial equation y is equal to f of x that is equal to 2x cube minus 7x square plus 6x plus 1 is there. This is the required polynomial. Which is the required required third degree third degree otherwise what do you call this cubic cubic polynomial third degree polynomial otherwise cubic polynomial now this is the required answer before substituting the value of x equal to 1.5. Now it is also required to calculate to find y at 1.5 we put x equal to 1.5 in the above equation in the above equation that is y at x equal to 1.5 f of 1.5 is equal to 2 into 1.5 y cube minus 7 into 1.5 whole square and plus 6 into 1.5 and plus 1. So whatever this comes you write it you calculate and that is your value. Simplify this you will be getting the quantity that is defining y at x equal to 1.5 otherwise uh, f of 1.5. So here we have used uh, Newton's forward. The question is uh, when it is occurring in the center you can also use Newton's backward interpolation formula then because uh, the asking number is equidistant from the beginning of the table as well as from the end of the table. Now I will take another example. From the following table, from the following table, estimate the number of students estimate the number of students who obtain who obtain marks <coughs> between marks between 40 and 45 using suitable interpolation formula using suitable interpolation formula given that number of students thirty to forty it is thirty one and forty to fifty it is forty two fifty to sixty 
it is 51 60 to 70 it is 35 and 70 to 80 it is 31 this is slightly different uh, type of the question when you compare with the previous example here the statement of the problem is like this from the following table estimate the number of students who obtained marks between 40 and 45 uh, the marks are given in the form of uh, a statistical table that is a class interval type that is called the lower limit and upper limit in the first case 30 is the lower limit next is upper limit is 40 likewise values are given we start this uh, writing the solution by taking Newton's suitable interpolation formula means here between 40 and 45 here it is asked 40 and 45 40 and 45 means this is 1 2 3 4 5 this is the central value 40 and 45 means it comes uh, near to the beginning of the table strictly we are going to use for Newton's forward interpolation formula to find the required calculation. Here, <coughs> since the calculation for the number of students, number of students lie between 40 and 45 is near to the beginning, near to the beginning of the table, near to the beginning of the table, then Then we use Newton's forward interpolation formula. <coughs> Newton's forward interpolation formula we use it since the asking number comes very uh, close to the beginning that is near to the beginning of the values. Then we prepare the table. <coughs> we prepare the table for cumulative values. Values of y. Suppose you take this as x and this is y, otherwise f. Y or F. In statistics, we call it as uh, frequency values, the second column, and the first column is class interval. Uh, here we call it as Y, but first column we call it as X. Such that, such that you write a table of values here. X values, that is, uh, here 40 is there. I take this as less than, less than and cumulative values that is y values and cumulative, cumulative values of y. Then we need to take the differences that is delta y, delta c of y actually this is C cumulative values of Y that is delta CY and delta 2CY then delta 3CY and delta 4 it is CY then we prepare the table accordingly for the cumulative values, x values and then y values, 
and then cumulative analysis first order difference second order difference and third order difference this is less than means less than is 40 less than 40 we have to consider instead of taking two numbers because in the formula of uh, newton's forward two numbers we cannot operate on the same either 30 you can take or 40 you can take either 40 you can take or 50 you can take if it start taking first value then in all the columns you have to take first value if you start taking second value you have to take second value in all the columns but here less than 40 means second value is start then this is less than means 40 less than then 50 60 70 then 80 there are totally five values 1 2 3 4 5 and y values given as it is it is 31 73 so 31 this is 42 then 51 35 and 31 now cumulative values means we add diagonally by making a carry forward of the first number that is 31 plus 42 This is 73, and this is 124. 73 plus 51. 3 plus 14. 7 plus 5. 12. That is 124. Next is 159. This plus this, and this plus this, we are getting 190. This is these are the cumulative values. Now the difference, forward differences, we are going to take difference between these two values. 73 minus Uh, 31. This is 42, and 124 minus 73. This should be 51. And next is 35. And next is it is 31. Now you go on writing the differences. 51 minus 42. This is 9. And then 35 minus 51. This is minus 16. And minus 4. Next this minus this. It is Minus 25, minus 16, minus 9. You have to add these. Uh, the total becomes as minus 25. Minus 4 plus 6. Minus of minus 16 is plus 16. That becomes 16 minus 4. This is 12. Then this minus this. You have to take it as 12 minus of minus 25. That is 37. So this is the uh, table. That is called forward difference table, and so uh, top diagonal values you have to make use. Let us see how this uh, formula behaves in our present data. By Newton's forward integration formula we have we have y of x equal to y of x that is y not <coughs> up to fourth order difference you have to write y not plus u into delta y not by one factorial u into u minus one delta two y not by two factorial Plus u into u minus one u minus two into delta three y not divided by it is three factorial and plus of u into u minus one u minus two and u minus three delta four y not divided by four factorial where where u is equal to x minus x not divided by h. Then you need to choose for y at y at x equal to forty five. Then we need x not is equal to first value in this column. X not is forty, and then x is forty five. U is equal to forty five minus forty, and the difference between any two successive values that is. 10 is there, so that 10 is equal to 45 minus 
pi by 10 it is equal to 0 0.5. So, this is the value of u. Afterwards, you substitute all these values in the equation that is y is equal to y naught plus 1. Therefore, y is equal to y at x equal to 45 is equal to y naught. What is first value of y naught? That is equal to 31. So, first value of y naught is equal to 31 means it is shown in the table. Even uh, that becomes also the difference between those values also you have to write and then you have to verify. Okay, that is 31. First value uh, that is our here y naught. Otherwise, you have cumulative value y naught and plus of u. U means 0.5 into that is delta y naught. That is 42 plus of by 1 factorial 0.5 into 0.5 minus 1 that is delta 2 that is 9 divided by 2 factorial and plus of that is 0.5 into 0.5 minus 1 0.5 minus 2 that is minus 25 divided by 3 factorial and one more value we have to substitute according to the last term plus of 0.5 into 0.5 minus 1, 0.5 minus 2, 0.5 it is 37, 0.5 minus 3 into 37 by it is 4 factorial. You are getting this simplification, you take the proper simplification from this step you are getting the value that is y at x equal to 45 is approximately equal to that is 47.87 that means number of students and the marks you are getting 47.87 ok. So, y is equal to number of students means that is 47.87 approximately you can write it is 48. You can take the round uh, a whole number because this is 0.87 means 0.9. Approximately you can write it as 48. But but number of students number of students number of students getting marks. Otherwise, with marks, number of students with marks less than less than 40. So, less than 40 means that is first number that is equal to less than 40 is 31. Then, this is less than 40. Therefore, Required number of students, required number of students, required number of students getting marks between between forty and forty five is equal to that is 48 and minus of this is 31. This is equal to 17 is the answer. So, that 17 students will be getting the marks between 40 and 45. In spite of the given type of groups which we have, but the number of students you are getting between 40 and 45 is equal to 48 minus 31. Similarly, another example let us uh, study how this equation is going to be applied. Example.
और फॉरम द डिफरेंस टेबल फॉरम द डिफरेंस टेबल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स फॉरम द डिफरेंस टेबल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू Here it is equation is given. F of x is equal to x cube minus 3 x square plus 5x and plus 7 for the values for the values 0. It is 2, 4, 6 and 8. 6 and 8. the question is extend the table for f of 10 for f of 10 using suitable interpolation interpolation formula in the solution here the data is slightly of different type <coughs> follow the difference table of f of x is equal to x cube minus 3 x square plus 5x that is plus of 7 for the values 0 2 4 6 and 8 then extend the table for f of 10 using suitable interpolation formula You can directly write f of 10 is x equal to 10. You'll be getting the value, no doubt. But this f of 10, you have to calculate using interpolation formula. But other values, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, directly you write and then prepare a table. Afterwards, difference table you have to prepare. Solution. Give one that. f of x otherwise y equal to f of x that is equal to x cube and minus 3 x square plus 5x and plus 7 then you write all these values that is 0 2 4 6 and 8 so f of 0 this is 7 and f of 2 This is 2 cube minus 3 2 square plus 5 into 2 plus 7. So this value comes to be that is 13. Similarly, you have got 4. You are getting 43, and you have got 6. You are getting that is 145, and you have got 8. You are getting 367. Then f of 10 equal to how much? How much? Using using interpolation formula. Using interpolation formula. So using interpolation formula means which interpolation formula you are going to Use that means here first you write all these values in the table. That is x and then y equal to your form x. Then how many values are possible? One, two, three, four, five. There are five values already we have calculated as per the statement of the problem. Then we can write uh, those five values in the table as it is and then uh, up to fourth order difference you have to write the interpolation formula y equal to fx and then but uh, here the value of x equal to 10 lies uh, after this 8 after this 8 means this is called extrapolation not the interpolation 
but for the extrapolation the uh, newton's backward interpolation formula we can use uh, when it is after the table after the last value before the first value if it occurs newton's forward interpolation formula but it is uh, to be named as uh, extrapolation for both the cases then it is reverse delta because backward formula we are going to use delta y then delta 2y then delta 3y then delta 4y therefore this table you have to prepare according to the given number of values according to the given number of values means there are five values given all the five values you take a entry into this table and then go on writing the differences using the same type of values next value minus of it is previous value the order of taking the differences is same next value minus of previous value then we can form the difference table and then we have to use it that is 0 2 4 6 and then 8 therefore f of 0 is 7 and then it is 13 then it is 43 then it is 145 <coughs> this is 367 okay then after finding this after finding this you write the differences uh, actually horizontal difference table even diagonal difference table or horizontal both are same because order of taking the differences is same next value minus of previous value but only the bottom values you have to take when you are using newton's backward interpolation formula therefore 13 minus 7 that is plus 6 and 43 minus 13 that is 0 and it is 30 that is 30 plus 30 minus 43 minus 13 then this is equal to 2 by minus 3 and 0 this is 1 and here 7 minus 5 is 2 6 minus 4 is 2 that is Minus one is now that is two. <coughs> that is two twenty two. And next thirty minus six is twenty four. That is two. And ten minus three is seven. Then two minus two is zero. Then two minus zero is two. And this is one. Seventy two minus twenty four. That is eight. And then six minus two is it is four. Forty eight. Then this is also 48. Then it is zero. Last number is zero. Therefore, we are going to use these values for applying Newton's backward interpolation formula. Now I shall write the same thing. Newton's backward interpolation formula. Then by Newton's backward interpolation formula, we have. We have y is equal to y n plus of u into delta y n plus u into u plus one delta two y n by two factorial and plus so on. That means otherwise four values are right because of the fourth order. That is u into u plus one into u plus two. That is delta three y n by three factorial. Plus u into u plus one into u plus two and u plus three and u plus four. That is multiplied. Ah, uh, sorry. Up to u plus three. Then it is multiplied by delta four y n. So divided by it is four factorial. Then what is the value of u in this case? Where? U is equal to x minus x n. That is divided by h. Instead of x minus x naught, you are going to write it as x minus x n. Here, x minus x n divided by h. That is u is equal to. So x value is 10. X equal to 10, and x n is the last value of the x column, and h is. Difference between any two successive values that is called two units. Then u is equal to that is 10 minus 
and divide it by 2. That is equal to 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, u is equal to 1. So, wherever u is there, that you have to write it as 1. Afterwards, you go on writing uh, the substitutions in the table. Okay. Then, y is equal to f of x. That is equal to f of x at y at uh, 10. Okay. That is x equal to 10. That is f of 10. First number means last value of this y. So, last value of this y means we have to write this is 367. 367 you have to write and then plus of u in this place 1 into delta 1. That is 222 by 1 factorial plus of 1 into 1 plus 1 that is uh, 120 divided by 2 factorial and plus of plus of 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 ok that is multiplied by 48 divided by this 3 factorial and plus of plus of 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into this 0. Anyway, this is your what exists, but still I am ready as for the formula. So, when you take the simplification of this step, you are getting that is f of 10 is equal to 757. So, this is the value. You can also check this value by the given equation, that means given or by the given formula that is equal to f of what is that equation uh, we have written in the statement of the problem x cube minus 3x square plus 5x plus 7 you put x equal to 10 there and you must get the same value you can also verify with this and other problems I shall continue in my next lecture.